Uh, Brian, I think you are, are going to be presenting on this item and any other speakers who may be participating. Uh, yes, correct. There you go. Hi, uh, this is uh, Brian Baldoff uh, with Mountains Recreation Conservation Authority, uh, Chief of Watershed Planning. And um, good evening, Madam Chair uh, and Board, Advisory Board. Um, so the, the Taylor Yard Partner, the, the 100 acre partnership at Taylor Yard, I started to jump the, uh, the name, um, is here and happy to provide an, a brief update of, of um, specifically Paseo del Rio, which was um, awarded to the partnership in June. But we also really, the, the big reason why we wanted to come and provide an update is sort of for you to see the volume of projects that are happening within the Taylor Yard area. Uh, and, um, and so we have a map, um, Barbara, um, if you're able to shift to put that up, um, it's, it's going to help just to sort of orient um, the landscape of the 100 acres, um, but also to give you an idea of the sense of projects that are happening. So um, you have the full attention of, of, of our team. There, many of the staff are um, on the call. Um, I know planning to present will be um, Stephanie Campbell from California State Parks and Brian Powell from um, City of LA Bureau of Engineering. So um, as I mentioned, uh, we, we, the partnership um, through three separate funding grants received um, grants boards from the Conservancy in June and that project is just starting. So we will provide we will be providing that update, but I wanted to go into a little depth about how all of these projects are working together to be cohesive through the partnership and uh, what is our sort of roadmap and strategy for the future. So within the, the partnership, um, we we are working to, um, to uh, first of all, we have a website. So there's a place that you can go and find information. Um, it's called 100acrepartnership.org. And um, there's an email if you ever need to, uh, if someone was asking you, how can I reach out? Obviously, the staff that are here speaking are happy to provide, but there's an email called info at 100acrepartnership.org that, um, that we're monitoring and responding to when questions come in. And so this website, um, since we were last here, um, we've added the capability that it actually can be translated into nine languages. Um, and uh, there's a button at the top right corner that allows you to do that for your desired language. Um, and we have an FAQ, a frequently asked questions um, a document that is in English and Spanish, um, and it has about six pages of content um, with sort of the, the, the questions that we're hearing most often. And that's something that we're updating um, or planning to update frequently. Um, we have um, one project that we're working on is, is um, hiring a team facilitator. Um, it's, it would actually be a consultant that helps us to manage all of these projects together and work together um, at our regular cooperation meetings. Um, and so we actually have a bi-monthly partnership team meeting and the facilitator will be helping with that. So we've started or we've engaged in an interview process to hire um, a facilitator. Um, and currently we're waiting on, um, it will be contracted through the city. And so we're waiting on um, that going through a council report um, in order for us to be able to hire um, a, a firm soon. Um, and then they will be helping very much with an MOU, a memorandum of understanding of the three um, agencies that are working on the partnership. These agencies are the ones that own land um, at, at, one, at Taylor Yard. And so um, we, uh, we are gonna be in earnest working on this MOU, which will help us to sort of set the roadmap for how, um, how the property actually is operated and maintained um, it, and is used by the public. Um, and so that's something that the facilitator will be helping us with. I'm gonna hand it over to Stephanie Campbell from State Parks, who's gonna to start to talk about Paseo del Rio. Stephanie, are you yep. here? I'm here, hi, hey. Good evening, everyone. Um, so I have quite a bit to talk about um, because there's a lot going on specifically with the bow tie. Um, I'm gonna start by saying that, um, you know, we're looking forward to starting conceptual design for the full 18 acres of the bow tie. Um, um, right now, we're just um, finalizing our contracts with the design and community engagement consultants for that project. Um, it's being headed up by the Southern Service Center, who is part, or they are part of California State Parks. There are landscape, uh, landscape architects, architects, engineering arm of state parks. Um, and um, so 
all of the projects happening at the bow tie are kind of happening under the umbrella of this larger conceptual design um, project. Um, so I'm going to start out by talking about Paseo del Rio, which Brian mentioned, and I'm going to um, give you an update on both you know, the state parks end and the, um, the city side of Paseo del Rio. Um, so the design, uh, the design and environmental process is being led by both, both entities, um, you know, the city of Los Angeles and California state parks. Uh, the city is currently working on um, drafting up their TOS, which I believe is a task order solicitation. Um, anyone from the city can jump in and tell me if I got that wrong. But, um, you know, the task order solicitation for design work. And, um, you know, once they do that, they need to seek a city council authority to fund the project and, um, you know, move forward from there. Um, there's going to be an environmental consultant uh, part of, who's going to be do, doing the um, uh, remediation assessment and planning services for not only the G2 site, but also the 18 acres of the bow tie. So that portion of the project is going to be coordinated, which is, you know, one of the objectives of the 100 acre partnership is to, you know, find ways where we can work together and, uh, you know, streamline the process of, of doing these projects. Um, as I said, the, um, the state parks, uh, the design for Paseo del Rio specifically will also be led by the, the Southern Service Center um, and kind of under the umbrella of the uh, larger conceptual design for the whole site and working in coordination with the city who is going to have their own design team uh, for Paseo del Rio on their end, but we'll be definitely working together on that. And um, the community engagement portion is uh, really important and um, that's going to be led by MRCA and state parks. So, um, you know, uh, state parks and MRCA have been having a lot of conversations about, you know, how to structure this and we're right now working on an RFP um, to put together, uh, you know, a community engagement team um, and that's going to be released you know, we thought it made sense that that would come out uh, at the same time that the city releases their TOS for the design team. So everything hopefully is going to coincide and, and the timing will work out well on that. Um, um, you know, and uh, like I said, we're, you know, excited about community engagement. We want it to be a really robust and inclusive process, um, multi-generational, multilingual. Um, we, you know, we really want to work with the community to, you know, do the best job we can to make sure that we're looking at, you know, this process uh, holistically and, um, you know, uh, addressing needs uh, and um, understanding what those community needs are. Um, the community engagement process is going to be three phases. There's going to be design, environmental, and then ongoing. Beyond that, um, you just want to continue working with the community and, um, sorry, I have lost notes. Um, so the long-term design I already talked about a little bit, that's being headed by the Southern Service Center and that's expected to basically hopefully start with the, the task order solicitation and the um, community engagement RFP. And so all, all of these things will kick off by the end of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, another project that I need to um, update you on that's happening at Bowtie is the Nature Conservancy Stormwater Capture and Habitat Enhancement Project, which you can see on the, um, you know, on the map is at the, the north end of the Bowtie. So we've been working with the Nature Conservancy and gosh, this project has been in development for quite a while, but, um, we're really ramping up. Uh, the Nature Conservancy hired Blue Green Consulting to work on this project. It's, um, like I said, a stormwater capture and habitat enhancement project. It's essentially daylighting a storm drain um, on the Bowtie property. It'd be something similar to the Ed P. Reyes Greenway, where we cre we're creating like an arroyo like feature on the Bowtie. Um, right now, 
the Nature Conservancy is working, and the Nature Conservancy and State Parks are working with DTSC for a voluntary cleanup agreement on that specific two acre site. Um, you know, we're going to be, you know, starting again, starting that public engagement process soon um, to coincide with with the other um, engagement processes that are happening in projects. And recently, that project was actually awarded uh, uh, Wildlife Conservation Board funding to supplement um, funding that was already in hand to complete the planning and design process. So that was really exciting. And then, um, you know, finally, Rio de Los Angeles is a really important part of this uh, part of this project and state parks, uh, state parks in the city were just were actively working on finding funding to improve uh, recreational active recreational amenities at Rio de Los Angeles State Park as well. Um, so that is that is my update, and I will go ahead and um, pass it over to Brian Powell with the City of Los Angeles Bureau of Engineering. Brian. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was speaking. Um, thanks for thanks for warning me there. Um, good, good evening, everyone. My name is Brian Powell. I'm from the Bureau of Engineering, uh, project manager for the Taylor Yard, uh, the Taylor Yard uh, River Park, as well as- I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt, but I can't hear. Brian, you need to speak a little louder, because- Okay, Thank sure. Yeah. Is this better? That's yeah. much better. Thank okay. you. I just hold the mic a little bit closer. Um, again, thank you, everyone. My name is Brian Powell from the Bureau of Engineering. Uh, project manager for the Taylor Yard project, as well as some of the smaller projects going on at this site. Um, we have a number of up, a number of items to provide updates on. Um, the first would be the Taylor Yard pedestrian bridge, which is represented on this map by the yellow uh, the yellow line down there. Um, this would be, I think, one of the first projects to be completed at the Taylor Yard site. Uh, it's a pedestrian bridge uh, that's intended to improve uh, mobility. Uh, for pedestrians as well as cyclists um, and connect the Elysian Valley area to the Cypress Park area and ultimately to Taylor Yard. Uh, this project is about 50% complete at the moment um, and we're hoping that it's going to be completed uh, by the end of 2021. Uh, this project is also coordinating with uh, DTSC. Um, one of the important things uh, is is monitoring the dust. Um, you know, knowing that uh, this site is is a brownfield site, the community has a lot of large concerns with uh, contamination and just particulate matter being caused due to construction. So, uh, we're, co we're coordinating closely with DTSC to monitor the dust at this site. Uh, the second item I'd like to give an update on is the Taylor Yard River Park Implementation Feasibility Report. Um, we've been the city has been working on this report now for a couple of years, uh, where we're making some final revisions based on comments that we received from some of our initial reviewers, uh, which includes advisory committees, technical committees, grantors, city family partners, and elected officials. So we're making some final changes to the report. Um, and then we anticipate releasing a draft for uh, to the general public this year for comments from the public. Uh, the next item would be the water quality feature project. Um, which here is represented by the blue kind of squiggly line going from the north end of the site to the southern end of the site. Uh, we call it the water quality feature project. It's going to be uh, a primary feature of the, of the overall park once completed. Uh, we're hoping that it will be approved for Proposition O funding in the coming months. Uh, the goal of this project is to construct a three and a half acre stormwater bioretention BMP which, which will uh, be used to treat dry and wet weather flows from nearby storm drains to improve water quality in the LA River and also to create a habitat focused open space, which provides uh, more, further access to Taylor Yard and also to the LA River. Um, if approved, this project would be funded by uh, approximately $12.5 million in Prop O funding, which will be used to largely fund the stormwater improvements as well as uh, $4 million from the MRCA, I believe in the form of a, a SMMC Prop 1 grant. And that'll be used to largely fund uh, improved access, greening and uh, habitat restoration to, to complement 
the stormwater components. Um, so just to provide a quick status update on the on the potential Prop O funding, um, it was the project was pre, uh, presented to the Proposition of Citizens <coughs> Oversight Committee on July 20th. Um, and then it then moved on to the Administrative Oversight Committee, which acted to approve the project on August 27th. Uh, and then the next step in line would be for this project to move to the Energy, Climate Change, and Environmental Justice Committee of the City Council. Uh, from there, it'll eventually move on to uh, the full City Council for, uh, for approval of the funding. Um, and one last step would, be, of course, also be approval by the mayor. Um, the last item I'd like to provide an update on is that we are working on an, uh, uh, just a general update for everything that the city is working on um, in, in Taylor Yard. Uh, this is this is intent. This is going to go out in the form of an email and is just meant to summarize all of the different things that are going on at this site. Um, it's been a while since we've provided an update because things did kind of slow down, but obviously things are picking back up now. Um, so we'd like to provide that update and everything that we, all updates that we provide uh, facing the public are coordinated with DTSC so that uh, the messaging is consistent. And with, Brian, uh, with that, Brian, I'll kick it back to you. Uh, thanks, Brian and Stephanie. So we just, um, you know, by my count, and there's about nine projects um, altogether kind of going on in the Taylor Yard area. Um, if you overlap, one of those nine being the the, the river ecosystem restoration project people some people call that arbor um, and then the county has a master planning process there's a lot of, there's a lot happening here and so i think the really thing the big thing that we wanted to sort of kind of express to you is that uh, for a community that can be really overwhelming when you have this many projects happening because that means nine meetings and if each project has a meeting you know once a month or whatnot it can be overwhelming and impossible um, especially now um, so the strength of our partnership is that we're able to be working coordinating together. We're trying to minimize um, uh, numbers of meetings where we actually are able to sort of compile material together. And we're also being reachable as staff who are talking together. Um, so we just want this update um, brief of, but there's many different things going on. We're available for questions. And I guess if the board is, you know, interested, we can provide um, a regular update of some interval um, as to what's going on because there's a lot that will be happening um, here in the future. And it's been, you know, a goal of the Conservancy for a long time to um, to really make projects happen in the Taylor Yard area. So with that, we, we're available for questions. 